DomenicoOne101MMA.com. This is Steve Domenico from Domenico 101 MMA, and I'm here with Greg Rabello at Triforce Gym in Pawtucket. And uh, Greg was training tonight with Brennan Ward, who's got a big fight coming. Yeah, they just uh, announced today Brennan's fighting Paul Daly. It's uh, January 21st. It's on the uh, TL Sun and Tito Ortiz card, like the undercard, will probably be the co main event. So yeah, it's a huge fight, man. It's the biggest fight of Brennan's career. So uh, we just got him started tonight. Probably about eight weeks away, and uh, I get a, I'm fighting actually the the next Saturday night, so a week later. So I'll be in California with him, and then I fight the following Saturday. So so let's get back to that. Now yeah. you'll be with Brennan in California, yep. corner and him. Yep. And then you come back, and I'm hearing you on CES. That's You're it. fighting January 27th. January 27th. Yeah. CES 41 on Access TV. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. Uh, that is that been announced yet that you're fighting? Or? Um, I mean, I'm on the card. I know okay. that I'm on the card. I don't have a an opponent or anything like that so I mean I'm sure that's going to be within the next couple of, you know they just did their show last Wednesday so within the next couple of weeks I'll have somebody I'm sure so. yeah with the holiday and everything exactly, else yeah. Yeah. everybody's trying everybody's to lose their fancy <laughs> oh yeah, yeah me exactly. too <laughs> yeah you look good why do you even wear a black dude? <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah training I got that's you it. training <laughs> I always train no matter what so <laughs> alright so you haven't fought in a few months uh, May when was that uh, August, in, uh, August, August 12th yeah alright uh, that fight didn't go your way yeah. You were winning that fight. Was. You were winning that fight. Yep. And, you know, one mistake in That's MMA. It. That's I, yeah, I, I, I won every second of that fight. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, at the heavyweight division, these guys are all big. They all get power. It's a part of the game, man. Like, when you sign up to fight, it's going to happen. Like, it's just, it's something that you got to learn to deal with. Man, I left that place with my head held high. It was, it's not like I went in there and I got dominated. I went in there and I won every second of that fight. I made one little crucial mistake against a big heavyweight like that. He caught me with a good shot, but I was fine. You know what I mean? It was a flash knockout. I never had a concussion. I just took a little time off, and I'm healthy. I'm good to go. So, Yeah, you right after, you got right back up? Yeah, I got right back up. I got back up. I I gave him a big hug, and I was like, man, you got me. You know, it is what it is, and we both kind of laughed about it. Yeah, it's all good. And you had him, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He was in that same spot, just about in the same spot. 100%. So in that... It was fun. It was yeah. an exciting fight for the fans, and it was fun for me, so I don't regret a thing. Man, That's you know? great. Yeah. And, and you, you grow from it, exactly. and that, you know, that little tiny exactly. mistake, so it happens. You know what I mean? <laughs> it it's does. MMA, and that's why it's the most exciting sport in the world. <laughs> so, all right, so you're fighting on the 27th. Yeah. Uh, yeah, help it run in, uh, yep. in a little while. So how's your training here? Uh, how long you... Uh, we got we got some time before. Yeah, you know, we have plenty of time. So, so you can, you know, you can coast into it, get and, back And that's on. the thing. I was just talking to Brennan Ward about that. It's, you know, a lot of fighters put stress on, like, a camp. I'm in a camp. Like, I never stop training. Yep. I'm, I always show up to jiu-jitsu class. I always wrestle. I always spar. Obviously, the intensity level goes up and down depending on if I'm fighting or not. But I'm always training. So it's not really like a fight camp for me. When I get a fight coming up, I show up to the gym and I train a little bit harder. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm training a million times a day. I'm always in shape to go yeah. five, five and around. So I never have to get myself in shape. So when I have a fight coming up, obviously I game plan a little bit for my opponent, but it's pretty much just, you know, I just keep that routine going, you know what I mean? That's one thing Brendan and I were talking about. We always train, so we're always in shape. I can always take a fight on short notice because I'm always in shape. That's what I was just going to yeah. get back to. Yep. I mean, you know, there's so many fighters uh, dropping out, yeah. weight cut issues, injuries uh, in UFC, well, so there's fighting Bellator, you're always ready. Yeah. So everyone out there, other than <laughs> CES, uh, you big guys up there, He's always ready, but he does have a fight on the 27th. Yeah. So we're gonna have to. I mean, if you think about it, guys like you know Joey, even just local guys off the top of my head, like Kyle Barkman, Joey Gomez, guys like that, they took fights on short notice because they were in shape and yep. they got them into the UFC. Exactly. You know? So and a lot of the young guys out there, I always tell them like, you always got to train. You can't take time off. You can't mess around. You got to be a professional because you never know when your card's gonna get pulled and you're gonna get that phone call. So. And, and take it, take that opportunity. Yeah. And don't worry about like you know some fighters they kind of don't want to take that big fight. And, yeah. You know what? Take the damn 100%. fight. You have a great yep. fight. Even if you lose, you're it's gonna a get win another situation. Fight. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get a bigger. You're yeah. gonna get a contract. There's so no I, question about so it. So I try to tell the young guys. You know what? Don't hold out too much. Mm -hmm. You don't want to fight a bomb, but you don't want to. You know, get yeah, out that's there. Gonna be, get to start, that you, obviously, to start your career, you yeah. got to you got to get the right fights to get, build your confidence. Is the biggest thing. Yeah, you got to get wins. Get the good record. Build your confidence. After that, man, it's just like you know, if you're in the right state of mind and you're training and you're healthy. And you're in good shape, like go out and go after it. Yeah, get again, go exactly. get some killers. Yeah, that's my opinion. You know what I mean? All right, my friend. So, <laughs> an awesome conversation. Absolutely. Glad to see you back. Uh, happy as ever. Training everyone at Triforce as ever. That's it, Triforce. And, and, uh, I split time between here and at City Autonomy in Boston. I'm there with Mark uh, Mondays and Saturdays. So, I actually take a lot of the guys from Rhode Island. You know, I've taken guys like uh, Joe Pingatoro. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I take Cody Norby up there. We actually went up to spar with Rob Font, who's fighting Saturday in the UFC. So, I take a lot of the guys from Rhode Island up to uh, 
Seal Tong and the Judico yeah. and, uh, and um, Hanover with yes. light dress. So we do a lot of cross training. I just, you know, I just try to get, if you train with the same guys, you're going to be stalemated at some point. So I, I just try to expand these guys' horizons and just kind of get them different partners. So it, it's just better for everybody, in my opinion. And there's a, a lot of fighters do that, and you know, and they jump from, uh, you know, Triforce, Judico, uh, City Odd Tom. Yep. It's, it's a big community. Yep. I mean, we're all, you guys are all in this together. We're all New family England. in one yeah, way or another. You know what yeah. I mean? It's New England. It's, 100%. It, it, you yeah. know, we're a world all our own. 100%. No, yeah, you no. Know and, 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 but, because I think that when we train with each other, everybody's going to get better and it's going to help us get our name in the map because somebody's going to break through and win a big fight. Exactly. You know I mean? And you guys are all in each other's yeah, corners. Exactly. And you know what? When someone breaks through, they're not going to forget you because no, you guys are all like family. 100%. You know what I mean? So you guys are all going to be in that clique. They're going to mention your names. I agree. So, uh, so I love it. It's, it's, it's the way of the it's not the way of the future it's the way gyms have been but we're only showing the fans how it yeah. really is you know yeah. what I mean it, nothing has changed it's just these guys are you know they're on they're on, out, in the, out there in the social media a little more oh, yeah. so, <laughs> so uh, and, and it's great I love it uh, and, you, you know fight business is uh, MMA especially is getting bigger and bigger and there's opportunities like for you and yeah. for all these other fighters yeah access TV like CES it's right in our backyard here you know so they love us, it it's awesome man my friends and my, one of my best friends in Australia Really watches it. I have friends in Vegas that watch it. It's awesome, man. You know, like all my buddies that don't live here get to watch it. It's cool, man. And, and the thing, uh, we've been in New England. We have Foxwoods. We have Mohegan Sun. We have Twin Rivers. We have all these big places that yeah. these huge uh, promotions come in, and then they grab a lot of oh, our yeah. fighters no, because absolutely. we got some killers absolutely. around here. No, absolutely, that's how Brandon Ward got started. Brandon Ward was on the undercard for Bellator because he lives in Connecticut. Exactly. And he went out and put on a show, and mm-hmm. then I remember Bjorn Rebbe came back in the locker room. He was like, "Who is this kid?" Exactly. Exactly. That's the opportunity you need. Who is this kid? He's in New exactly. England. Come yeah, to New exactly. England more often. Exactly. Check, and check now they're They do a show every three or four months. Exactly. They're coming back in April. It, we bring the fans. Same thing with yeah. Lion Fight. You yeah. guys get a lot of people that fight for them. Yeah. Muay Thai. They love going to New England. Of course. Sir. We bring it, baby. Of course. We I bring agree. it. <laughs> right, my friend. Man. Thank you. Man. I'll see you around the yes, 27th. Right, yeah. And uh, from Gregor Ribello, we're back, baby. January 27th. <laughs> uh, CES MMA 41. We don't know who he's fighting, but it doesn't give a shit. This guy's ready to go. Uh, uh, Matt Bissett will be on that card. Uh, I'm sure a lot of big names there, and uh, it's going to be the first card of the year. Yeah, no, there's so, going to be a lot. Matt Bissett, I know Matt Bissett, I know Cody Norby's going to be on yes, that card. Sir. There's going to be a bunch of guys that, and you know, from August. I'll try to get them all to you, people. So uh, I'll make sure you get them. <laughs> all right. From Triforce MMA, Greg Ribello, everyone else over here, Domenico 101 MMA, representing New England, MMA fighters. We're good, baby. You have a good night. Take care.